Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second video in the Plex 3D tutorial. If you can please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video we're going to talk about the soil uh, soil modeling in Plexus. We're going to use the input of Plexus 3D. There's the input and the output. The output is for the after the calculation of our structure. So after opening the input of Plexus, you're going to find this tab. So we can start a new project or open an existing one. We're going to start a new project. So here we're going to put the title of our project. It's tutorial uh, 2. The company that owns the license of Plexus, the directory, the file name, the comments, and the company logo. Here in the model tab, you can find the type and the elements. We're going to find the units where we can change the units of the lengths, the forces, and the time. For the time, it comes in handy in the dynamic analysis. For the gravity, it's in the minus z direction and it's equal to 9.8. It's by default. For gamma of water, it's equal to 10 kilonewton by cubic meters. Here is the contour of our project. You can see the y direction and the x direction. I'm going to put here minus 12 and minus 8. Okay. So this is the contour. It's uh, 8 minus 8, 12 minus 12. So first of all, we can find... Uh, the model tab the model tab is here for the blue part it's uh, here where we put the the structure the soil we can change the value of the structures and soil when it's come to green we can't we can't change them anymore we can only change the condition of the calculation and the mesh and also the flow condition here uh, in the menu bar we can change, for example, the visualization of the settings. Here, there's the line size, load size, interface, grid, global access. Here, there's the visibility of our structures. We can change it from wireframe. Okay. Here, there's the select menu. We can select our soil. Here we can change the contour of our soil, or we can adjust and move the points. We can move them here, or we can add one by clicking on any point and moving it. So here we can see that we've added points, or we can remove them. So in order to, to create soil soil layers, we're gonna make borehole. It's the way to do it in Plexus. You're going to put a borehole in uh, x equals 0 and y equals 0. We're going to add a borehole. We're going to add a material. You can either add it from here or from here. I'm going to make a new material. Uh, don't worry about the value that I'm going to put in the material. I'll make another tutorial explaining everything to know about this value. Here I'm just putting any number. Okay, so I'm gonna copy also this one. I'm gonna name it tutorial two. Change the color. So it's done. I'm gonna remove this material. Okay. So I'm gonna set this one for tutorial one. The top is zero and the bottom is minus six. Okay, so here we can see we've created the soil. If we want to adjust the soil, we can go here in the explorer tab and choose borehole, edit borehole. I'm gonna add another material, I'm gonna assign the material. Let's say it's material two and it's minus 
9. Here we can see the, no, uh, the other soil layer that's added. Okay, so it's horizontal as we can see. Now I'm going to show you how to change uh, the, the geometry of uh, the layers. Okay, so I'm going to add another borehole. Let's say it's in the x equal 8 and y equal 7. Now I put the first, uh, first layer at minus 4 and at plus 2. We can see how we've changed the geometry and also the geometry here, how it's not uh, horizontal anymore. Okay, so I'm going to delete it. To stay simple. Uh, for, a, for a large site that had a, a lot of boreholes, we've done geotechnical investigation and we have, for example, five or six boreholes, we can draw them here and have the, the real site topography. So, a really important thing to set here is the water. So here the head is the phreatic uh, level. Let's say the phreatic level is at minus uh, 4. We can see it's changed here. In order to change the water uh, conditions, we're going to go here in this tab. There's uh, head condition. There's hydrostatic, interpolate, dry, and user defined. So if we're going to use dry, going to see that there's no water pressure in this soil. We're going to use user-defined. User it's us who defines the pressure due to the water. Interpolate, it's uh, the software that does the job by interpolation of the water level. Hydrostatic, as you can see, we can put the value that the water starts from. Here we can use it as head in order to get the pressure from uh, the phreatic level. So now we have a basic uh, soil defined here with the water pressure. It's uh, done for the soil. Now we're going to go to the structures tab. So that's all for this tutorial. If you liked it, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial where I'll teach you how to draw a structure in Plexus. So after I finish explaining all these tabs, we're going to start uh, doing examples of Plexus. Thank you for watching.